Hello everyone and welcome to the daily morning podcast. So Indian market on Friday session ended on a flat side uh, with Sensex gaining 0.03% to settle at 74248 levels and uh, Nifty 50 closed almost uh, you know um at uh, the Thursday's closing of uh, 22513.7 points uh, gaining just uh, 0.95 points. Uh, but both the indices uh, closed with gains of 0.8% each uh, for the entire week. Broader markets on Friday's session uh, outperformed the benchmarks with Nifty mid-cap 100 gaining 0.56% and uh, Nifty small-cap 100 gaining by 0.84%. On a weekly basis, uh, Nifty mid-ca- uh, BSE mid-cap was up 3.8% and BSE small-cap in- index was up by uh, 6.6%. Looking at the top 5 gainers and losers of Nifty 50, uh, then top 5 gainers were uh, Kotak Bank, SBI Life, HDFC Bank, Bajaj Finsurf and uh, HDFC Life. While the top 5 uh, losers of uh, Nifty 50 were Grassim Industries, Ultra Tech Cement, um, l and Bajaj Auto and Bharti Airtel. Looking into the sectoral performance of uh, BSC, then uh, BSC Reality uh, gained the most on Friday, uh, closing up by 1.5% followed by BSE Financial Services which gained by 0.9%, BSE Services with gains of 0.8%, BSE FMCG Index uh, gained 0.5% and uh, Telecommunication and Healthcare Index uh, gained by 0.2% and 0.1% respectively. Against that, uh, BSE uh, IT sector lost the most uh, with loss of 0.4%, um, followed by BSE Auto, uh, Oil and Gas and Metal which were down by 0.2 uh, to 0.1%. The overall uh, market breadth mostly favoured uh, the um, bulls where uh, about uh, 2,394 stocks advanced and against that around uh, 1,460 stocks declined. About 108 stocks made uh, 52-week highs uh, including stocks like ABB, Bharat Electronics, Canra Bank, Force Motors, Hindustan Copper, Cochin Shipyard etc. And uh, there were uh, no stocks uh, that made 52-week lows on uh, Friday session. On the um, fund flow side, uh, the FIS net bought Rs 1,659.3 crores and uh, DIS net sold Rs 3,370.4 crores in the cash market on Friday. Moving on to the global market queues for today, um, then firstly talking about uh, US queues, um, the US market has uh, closed on a positive side on Friday uh, despite uh, strong uh, US non-farm payroll data. Asian markets are currently trading on a higher side, so we can expect a positive opening for our market today. Uh, Moving on to the stocks which will be in focus today, uh, so Bajaj Finance uh, is likely to be in focus as Bajaj Housing Finance is mandatorily required to list by 30th September of 2025. The company's board will undertake discussions with respect to the mandatory listing requirement including considering various options uh, based on the prevailing market conditions uh, at its meeting scheduled on uh, 24th of April, Uh, so the overall uh, news is uh, neutral for Bajaj Finance in short term. JSW Energy has raised uh, 5000 crore rupees via QIP at an issue price of Rs 485 per share which is at a discount of uh, uh, 4.92% to the floor price of Rs 510.09 per share. So uh, neutral to marginally positive for JSW Energy in short term. Vodafone Idea will raise Rs 2,075 crores via issuance of shares to Oriana Investments. Uh, the telecom company will issue 139.5 crore shares at Rs 14.87 per share. So this is neutral to positive uh, for Vodafone Idea in medium to long term. Tata Power has signed a share purchase agreement and acquired 100% equity stake in Jalpura Khurja Power Transmission Limited. Uh, it will build, own, operate and transfer electrical power transmission system to establish twin 400 kV uh, GIS substations at Jalpura and uh, Metro Depot in Greater Noida. So positive for Tata Power in uh, medium to long term. Uh, talking about some of the business updates released by the companies, uh, then Adani Wilmer has witnessed double digit growth in edible oils and food segment uh, at the end of the uh, fourth quarter of FI24. Uh, food and FMCG volume growth has stood at 10% year on year while edible oil was uh, um, Edible oil growth was at uh, 13% year on year, so the update is uh, neutral to positive for Adani Wilmer in short term. Uh, PNB, that is Punjab National Bank, has reported total deposits of Rs 13.7 lakh crore, which is up 7% year on year as of 31st March. Uh, total advances have stood at 9.86 lakh crore rupees, uh, which is up 11.5% year on year. 
and the total business uh, has stood at th uh, 23.56 lakh crores which is up 8.8 percent on year on year basis so overall the update is neutral uh, for punjab national bank in short term other company another company uh, titan has also declared its uh, provisional business updates for the march quarter uh, the company's revenue has grown uh, 17 percent year on year for the fourth quarter uh, with the jewelry business uh, registering growth of 18 percent year on year watches and wearables business growing 6 percent year on year uh, while the eye care business was uh, down by 1 percent on a year on year basis and emerging businesses saw a growth of 24 percent on a year on year basis uh, the carrot lane business of uh, titan was up by 30 percent year on year so overall the update is positive for uh, titan uh, union bank of india has reported total deposits of rupees 12.2 lakh crores which is a growth of uh, 9.3 percent year on year for the march quarter and total businesses have stood at uh, 21.3 lakh crore rupees which is up 10.3 percent on year on year basis so the update is uh, neutral for union bank of india india bulls real estate has approved raising up to 3911 crore rupees in varamo tranches via preferential issue of shares uh, the investors include dutpal seth blackstone punavla finance and quant mutual fund so the development is uh, neutral to positive for india bulls real estate uh, the board of nestle india has approved increasing royalty payments to its parent firm uh, by 0.15% annually for the next uh, 5 years uh, which will enhance uh, the uh, royalty expense to 5.25% of the net sales so is this is um, uh, overall neutral for uh, nestle india in uh, short to medium term uh, bank of baroda has reported domestic uh, deposits of rupees 11.3 lakh crore which is up 7.7% uh, on a year on year basis uh, domestic advances have stood at rupees 8.97 lakh crores which is a growth of 12.8% on a year on year basis global deposits have stood at rupees 13.3 lakh crores registering a growth of 10.2% year on year and global advances have stood at rupees 10.9 lakh crores registering growth of 12.4% on a year on year on year basis so um, the update is neutral to positive for bank of baroda bank of india has reported domestic deposits of rupees 6.3 lakh crores which is up 11% year on year for the march quarter domestic advances have stood at rupees 4.93 lakh crore which is uh, up 14% year on year global gross advances have stood at rupees 5.86 lakh crores which is a growth of 13.6% and global deposits have uh, grown 10.2% per, year on year at rupees 7.3 lakh uh, 3.8 lakh crores so uh, neutral for uh, bank of india in short term uh, utkarsh small finance bank has uh, reported total deposits of rupees 17473 crores which is a growth of 27.4% year on year and its gross loan uh, portfolio has increased 31% year on year at rupees 18299 crores so uh, uh, strong uh, business updates by utkarsh small finance bank uh, rights has signed an mou with iit madras to collaborate on green energy projects in the field of transport and mobility so this will be positive for rights in uh, medium to long term aurobindo pharma is in focus as us fda has in inspected the company's unit from uh, 28 march to 5th april and has closed with uh, three observations so this will be uh, neutral uh, for uh, aurobindo pharma in short term uh, godrej consumer has uh, is expecting sales growth in the mid single digits driven largely by currency volatility and uh, underlying volume growth is expected to be in the double digits so the update is neutral to positive for godrej consumer Dr Reddy's Laboratories uh, and uh, Bayer has signed a marketing and distribution agreement for the second brand of uh, uh, Verici uh, uh, Verici uh, Guard uh, for heart diseases in India so th th it will be positive for uh, Dr Reddy's Laboratories in short term uh, Mahindra EPC has received an order worth rupees 13.2 crores from the office of the assistant engineer to supply micro irrigation systems for 2700 hectares uh, 2700 hectares uh, so positive news for Mahindra EPC in short to medium term uh, landmark cars will incorporate a wholly owned subsidiary landmark uh, premium cars so neutral news for landmark cars uh, greaves cotton's unit en has entered into an uh, agreement with uh, suyo manufacturing to advance its presence in the low speed electric three, ve uh, three wheeler vehicle segment so uh, this is uh, positive for greaves cotton in uh, short to medium term united breweries has received a demand order worth rupees 264 crores for fi20 from the maharashtra gst department so this can be slightly negative for united breweries uh, Shelby has availed enhanced banking facilities uh, up to rupees 168.53 crores from Indusind Bank. So this will be neutral to positive for Shelby in short term. Uh, other than this, uh, Embassy Reeds will acquire Embassy Splendid Tax Zone for rupees 1,269 crores. So this is neutral to marginally positive for uh, the stock. Uh, Electronic Mart India has commenced uh, commercial operation at its new 8,500 square feet multi-brand store in Telangana. So positive for Electronic Mart India in medium to long term. 
then uh, moving on to some of the bulk and block deals then uh, in case of camlin fine sciences uh, there is a block deal uh, which has happened uh, so anfima nv has bought 23 lakh shares which is 1.37 percent of the stake while ashish uh, subhash dandekar has sold 23 lakh shares uh, which is 1.37 percent of the stake again at rupees 97.99 per share uh, in case of vijaya diagnostic center uh, canara robeco mutual fund uh, um has sold 6.92 lakh shares which is 0.67% of the stake at rupees 664 per share in terms of the corporate action for today uh, then today is the ex and record date uh, for dividend uh, uh, in case of company indian uh, metals and ferro alloys and sun tv network so uh, both these stocks can also see some uh, reaction today so this was all about the daily morning podcast thank you all for listening investment in securities market are subject to market risks Read all the related documents carefully before investing.